You said you can't you can't drink any water, you can't eat any food. Yeah, I mean it's in my contract that, that they don't let me drink water for three days or eat for three days out of the week, just so I could be on schedule to make weight. To make weight. Yeah, for for, for crazy Trevantes, Yeah, uh, for his comfortability and yeah, yeah. If, you know taking the match. If I didn't agree to these conditions, the fight's not gonna happen. Um, so I, I, like I've been saying, is I sacrificed. Yeah. Uh, you know, not I sacrificed myself not to you know for the boxing fans for the people that have been wanting this fight. Uh, this is the only way we can make the right fight happen now. Uh, so I, I this is what life is about sacrificing you know, for others. Now, <laughs> when I first heard this, I thought it was hilarious because clearly the man was lying when he said the stuff that he said. It's no way. They can put in a contract that you can't eat or drink water only three days out of a week. That's that that has to be illegal. But that affected so many people's judgment and mind state when, uh, when it came down to the contract and their up and coming fight, Ryan Garcia versus Tank Davis. That is, you had people coming out, you know, basically destroying Tank Davis over the so-called stipulations, the so-called stipulations that he put in for this fight with Ryan Garcia, saying that, you know, he's cheating and all this other crap. Now, Ryan Garcia, as of late, has come out and cleared the air, as he said, <laughs> about these so-called remarks that he made on that podcast, where well, clearly he was lying, but he said he was being sarcastic. But if you go back and look at the video, and I can't play it outright. I'm not going to play the audio, but I, I'm not playing it outright where you can see everything. If you if you look at his face when he was saying that the man had a straight face, he even, he even went on to say, like, these are the type of sacrifices that you have to make. That's a lie. You can't call that sarcasm. You can't call, you can't even really call that capping for real. That's a straight up lie. But at this point, if you think about it, he lied, he's, he's lied about the stipulations. He lied about um, Al Heyman and, and the PBC not allowing him to uh to have a tune-up fight i mean at this point i don't know if we can trust anything that come out of ryan garcia's mouth based off of past performances <laughs> and i would say performances because i'm starting to think maybe ryan garcia is an actor because if you look at that video I mean, he really, he, he put on a, a Academy Award type of performance when he was saying he can't eat, he can't drink, but only three days out of the week. Like, he looked dead serious when he said that. So at this point, I don't know what to believe. I mean, I was already calling the dude King of Cap, but, man, that dude, that dude, uh, he really did. He looked convincing. I, I mean, of course, I knew he was lying based off of what he was saying. But if you go back and look at it, at his body language, the facial expression he had on his face when he was making the statement, he really did look convincing. Like, and a lot of people fell for it, and a lot of people put pressure on Tank behind that, and uh. He ought to be ashamed of himself for that because really what he's doing, and they're putting it on tape, but really what he's doing, he's tarnishing the fight. And he, he almost has, has made it sound like the fight was fixed. Because think about it, if you got your opponent to the point where they can't drink or eat water only three days out of the week, that really does sound like a fix almost. And you've had people saying, that the, the stipulations 
is tarnishing the fight. No, him crying about the stipulations and saying ridiculous stuff as he's been saying is what is tarnishing the fight. Especially when he's already within weight far as where he is in camp so far. So all of this is for naught. It, is, it don't even make sense. I think he, he uh, has come out and said he's around 140 pounds, 141, something like that. About five pounds short of the weight limit. So this is ridiculous. Just go to work, train, get ready for the fight, and stop focusing on Twitter and Instagram. That's what he needs to be doing. All this other stuff is, is just, it's, it's, it's cap. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the best way to put it, it's, it's cap. Man, uh, that's that's pretty much all I got. This here bust of boxes on Fight Doctor. Hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Hit me up in the comment section, let me know what you think. Has Ryan shown that he is truly the king of cap? You know, Lion Ryan, I mean, the man, he came out and said it himself. He was not telling the truth. I mean, he didn't say it in that fashion. You saw it on the screen. But he was not telling the truth with the stuff he was saying. And he really had people believe in that crap. How, I don't know, because think about it. As I said earlier, how in the world can somebody put in a contract you can't eat or drink water? But only three days out of the week. I mean, come on, man. That don't even sound right. But uh, that's my opinion. Give me yours. In the comment section is here. Bust some boxes on Fight Doctor. I am out.